Okay, so this video is just about um, getting the syntax highlighting for shaders in um, for for yeah GLSL shaders uh, in Vim. Now um, it's pretty straightforward for Sublime if you search for that online. I imagine for things like Visual Studio, fairly straightforward. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm making this video for Vim because I had some hiccups, took me a little bit of time. Um, I'm not using a package manager yet, I don't think, or I wasn't until until um, today. And um, anyway, so let's see, there were a couple of, okay, here's the package on GitHub here. So I just found it by searching for this and uh, pretty straightforward. Then let's see here. Here's the GitHub and um, installation. It talks about bundle or pathogen. Um, you can find these in the, um, if you're on, well, whatever your um, package manager is or whatever, I'm on Arch, so I use Yay. And uh, after I used Yay, let's see here, at some point I searched um, for the bundle dot, Vim file. Let's see here. So first I tried with using pathogen and it didn't work for me. Maybe I just, um, you know, I should have searched for how to use pathogen separately, but because uh, there's some setup to, to do with these. Same here. You've got to set it up first. Um, anyway, so after it didn't work with pathogen, I just went straight to bundle and uh, it didn't work. And so I looked up, you know, what you've got to do to make bundle work, and then it worked. But anyway, so let's see here. Um, there's some, oh, I gotta check the history. Okay, so anyway, the, the way that I got it done is um, I found on this random GitHub issues place about, uh, I guess, properly installing the bundle package, which I installed first, um, you know, oh, sorry, I use yay. And uh, I don't think I need sudo. Yay, and I searched for bundle, and it gives you the this one, and I installed it. And then I had to search for this uh, bundle.vim. So you can do sudo find, system-wide, uh, iname, bundle.vim should do it. And um, anyway, it, so I found had to find this because you need to put this in your vimrc file. Okay, so here's the bundle.vim file. So I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm going to cd into my home directory, open uh, open up my .vimrc with vim. And then um, you can see from here, just copy pasting, I guess. Um, let's see what I searched for to find this. Not an editor command plugin. So it was an error. Um, I guess I could have searched for how to install bundle or something would have would have made sense as well. But anyway, I found it. And um, maybe I'll put this in the link, uh, description of this video if I remember. So anyway, so copy and paste it. But then this uh, third line here set RTP plus equals it's set runtime path, I think, uh, plus equals and then the path. So the path that I just found by searching. Uh, you know, so I'll do set RTP plus equals and then paste in the path there. That's exactly what I did. And um, this other stuff that you have here to get bundle to work, then uh, this is other stuff that I just have um, in my vim.rc. But then, okay, then here's the plugin right here. And then also this part, um, this is from the GitHub read me here, um, right here. It says, if you want highlighting in files with other extensions, such as .vs and .fs, you need to do this. So that's what I did. Okay, so I did forget an important part of this. Um, let's see, as we can see here, there's no syntax hiding, highlighting here. Um, so uh, let's see, I'm gonna cd into my home directory cd.vim ls so make the directory bundle here i already have it 
and um, CD into that. And then you're going to want to get clone um, this. I'll put the link in, I'll copy these instructions in the description. The description will have the text uh, that you can follow to do everything. And so you don't want to clone that in here. And then um, let's see here if this is going to work now. Yeah, it works. So that's kind of an important step. Um, I should probably comment that. Oh, that's kind of obvious what it does. So that was it, I believe, if I remember correctly. I just did this. And, and um, then it should hopefully work. So you test it out on the um, fragment shader that we already have. So yeah, I just kind of, I don't know. It, it, I was using Sublime Text, and I just want to have the option to be able to use Vim as well. And uh, in the past, I've avoided um, using Vim with shaders, just because I don't. Uh, this, you know, syntax highlighting is pretty important. Once you get a big shader going, um, it makes it much easier to read. Uh, sorry to anyone who's colorblind. Um, well, actually, you can probably still, like, um, by the amount of grayness, you can probably distinguish. I hope, but anyway, um, yeah. So it's pretty good to have the syntax highlighting, and we got this with Vim here, so we can use Vim as an option as well. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more OpenGL stuff, and uh, thanks. Bye.